So today I want to talk about boss fights inside Call of Duty Zombies and yes if you guys have been watching my channel for a while now you would know it's kind of like that time that annual time of me complaining about boss fights inside zombies and I promise this one is going to be different because that other one was kind of complaining about kind of the oversaturation well not too much I don't really care about oversaturation all that much but the other or the main point of that is that it kind of annoyed me that it, for Force the writers to write in this big bad for every single map and that's really my main complaint of a boss fight in every single easter egg and also I really feel like it hurts the variety of it but of course those are things I talked about in a different video in a much greater extent but what I want to be talking about now is a bit different it's actually talking about a design flaw that I see with the boss fights that we've been getting for really a while now and this again is something that has to do with the threat of the boss fight because this is something that has been never more obvious than inside well really blood of the dead but then it was brought up again inside dead of the night and this is a problem that i see with the boss fight because i see that the threat of the boss fight isn't the boss and that makes no sense to me. I mean, honestly, if you guys have played Blood of the Dead or even Dead of the Night's Easter Egg and got to its boss fight and even beat it, tell me what is the number one thing you were worried about getting downed. I mean, what's going to make you fail this boss fight? It's not going to be the boss. That's definitely not the case. I mean, yes, you possibly can get down by the boss, but for the most part, you are getting down by red vampires or just normal zombies or even the elemental zombies. I mean, that is what's going to down you. It's not going to be the boss. Let's be completely honest. If you guys have played this Easter egg a hundred times and failed maybe five or ten times, then all of those, if not all, well, most of them, if not all of them, that's how that saying works, but you are going to be getting down down by zombies and not of course the boss because the boss is just not the threat of the boss fight it's just an annoyance that occasionally pops up which makes no sense to me in the slightest i mean why would it be a boss fight i mean honestly think about this the boss in every other video game ever has always been the main threat of the boss fight i mean that is exactly why it's called a boss fight because you're fighting against a, bo a boss and i mean that's a two-way thing when you're fighting you just don't fight by yourself so it doesn't make any sense to me when you tell me it's a boss fight but the boss isn't really doing anything to really become a threat for me and the threat is the zombies and again the boss is just an afterthought and it just doesn't make sense to me in that design because why would it be called a boss fight then if they were not really fighting between you and the boss and you're just fighting between zombies and also killing this guy who's running around it just doesn't make much sense to me and this isn't an issue that just popped up inside dead of the night and this is an issue that's happened inside blood of the dead of course they also happen inside zetsubo no shima revelations every world war ii map and of course uh maybe i'm trying to think wait did infinite warfare have any of these problems I think, yeah, actually, Shell and Shuffle also suffered from this problem, and of course, Shell and Shuffle is just a bad Easter egg altogether, but that's a different thing altogether. A lot of these maps, and of course, my point is that a lot of these maps miss the point of a boss fight, because the boss fight is supposed to be between you and the boss, and not you and the zombies. I mean, if you wanted the zombies to be the main threat, just play zombies normally. That's just how it works. But I should also make this very clear, that I'm not saying that these boss fights that do this aren't fun yes I actually have a lot of fun doing the dead of the night Easter egg but my problem is is that it just doesn't make sense why it's a boss fight it just does not make sense because it's just not a boss fight it actually gets the definition of boss fight and doesn't follow away at all thus making it something that isn't a boss fight and I'm completely fine with that I mean if you want to do something different from a boss fight then go right ahead I'm more than happy for you to do that but it just doesn't make sense when everyone's calling these things a boss fight and they're just not a boss fight but it just is quite strange and I actually want to bring up a really good examples of what a good boss fight at least in my opinion is and I think there are three I want to bring up and I first want to start off with of course Garage Krovi probably one of the all-time best boss fights of all time because think about this you have two phases to your boss fight you fight the dragon then you fight Nikolai in both of those phases the main threat is the dragon and then Nikolai when you're going up against the dragon the dragon is lying the entire place on fire and of course yeah that's probably not going to down you and the zombies are yes going to down you and this is a perfect example of how to use the zombies and the boss together 
to actually make the threat of the boss fight and the zombies because you do not want to be stepping in the fire all that often. You just want to stay away from the fire as much as possible. So you go into these little corners and then the zombies surround you. And yes, technically the zombies are the ones that are downing you, but that's only because the, zo the, because the boss forced you in that location. That's why I say the boss is a perfect example of how you should work the zombies into the boss fight because I don't think that there shouldn't be zombies in the boss fight. I mean, it's called the Call of Duty Zombies for goodness sake. But regardless, it's just like it, they shouldn't be the main threat. The boss should work with them or at least do something different to actually mess you up or just use the zombies as an annoyance. And that is why I see Garage Trophy as one of the most solid boss fights of all time. Also, not to mention that our boss fight still broken in Black Ops 3, something I should also throw in there. But regardless, and even in the next phase, when you're going against Nikolai, you're not getting down by the zombies unless Nikolai forces you in that situation, which Nikolai's not going to the dragon wood, but not Nikolai. Nikolai is probably going to down you with his little uh, wraps thing he throws in the air, and that's probably what's going to down you for the most part. So it's not something that is, again, from the zombies, but instead the boss. And this is a perfect example of the main threat of these boss fight is that the boss fight, or the bosses are the actual main threat. Nikolai and the dragon are are the main threats and this is a perfect example of that. Now, of course, that's not to say that you can't use zombies in the boss fight because there's also a boss fight that does this really well. Because if you guys remember to, of course, the Reisendrake, yes, the boss is the main thing you gotta worry about when he's there, but he also uses panzers and this is a perfect way to use it. Yes, of course, the boss could be the main threat at some points and of course, the zombies will be the annoyance, but then he could summon in the zombies and just make them these main threats for a while. And that's another really good way. If you want to use, of course, the somehow use the zombies as the main threat for a little bit, that works fine. I mean, it worked really, really well inside the Rising Drake. And of course, they also kind of use this again inside the Dead of the Night Seas because you get the wolf and you do one phase of it then the zombies jump in and that's fine I don't have a problem with that but it just works really well when you incorporate the zombies as the main threat sometimes and then at other times it's a boss but when you just have purely the zombies as a main threat it just doesn't work as a boss fight now I wanted to save my best example for last because this is probably the all-time best boss fight in just design it may not be the funnest or just the best to do but is in design at least in my opinion it's the best design easter egg or, or i guess not easter egg but boss fight of all time and that of course is the mestopheles boss fight because there is just very unique ways in every single way you do this i mean think about how you actually damage the boss i mean you have to stand in the little hoops charge them up and after you charge them up then you can shoot the little things at them then of course you now the boss is now vulnerable so you have to make the boss vulnerable by doing two steps before then you could do this and you do this of course four more times you have to do it five times in total and also the zombies are there yes but they are just an annoyance until it comes to the phase where he blocks out the sun then the zombies are the main annoyance and i really really like that and also i mean think of the main threat of while you're doing all this it's the boss and he of course is using his different attacks and as you go through the boss fight he gets more attacks and this is why i see this boss fight as the clear best boss fight and exactly how boss fights should be and there it's just such a beautifully designed boss fight and yes it could be too difficult at some points and that stuff like that like i understand all of that but from just a design when you put that on paper in front of me it sounds like one of the best boss fights of all time if it's not it's just such a beautiful design there's a unique boss fight i mean the boss uses unique ways to attack you as like four or five different attacks to attack you and then after that of course you have yourself a unique way to attack the boss it's just really really cool and then of course you have different phases of it it's just such a cool boss fight in design and uh, it's fun to play too of course as long as you have a good team or you're a god at the game but regardless it's just a perfect example of how you design a boss fight and this is just a perfect example of how to do it inside Mephistopheles boss fight and of course like I said there's also some other really cool boss fights I would say that attack of the radioactive thing is a very cool way of a boss fight because the bosses well at the same i mean it's a good way of incorporating the zombies and the boss i think of course the, the boss pretty much is almost never going to down you but i mean the boss is kind of 
Where, well, actually, on some, some steps it will. It's also a really unique boss fight, and that's why I like it so much. But, of course, I think the best examples of how to design a boss fight is Mephistopheles and Garad Krovi. Because Garad Krovi works really well because you can have the zombies as a threat, but they just shouldn't be the main threat. Or at least the boss should make them the main threat. And that's what I really, really like about that. But, of course, that's all I really could say about these boss fights. But I want to hear what you guys think. About. My ear is just ringing right now. Shut up, dude. Okay, but anyways, uh, wow, I'm getting dizzy from that, but regardless, uh, I want to hear what you guys think about everything I've said here. Do you think that there's a problem with this design of the boss fights? Or do you think that they should be changed up and should be strive to be more like Mesostopheles, Garad Trophy, the Rise and the Rocket, and Attack of the Radioactive Thing? Or are you fine with how they work? Do you like them this way and all that stuff? Also, another problem with boss fights recently is that they've been bullet sponges, like kind of like in 9 and of course every World War II map except the very first one but regardless i still want to hear what you guys are thinking about all of this do you guys agree disagree tell me exactly what you guys are thinking about this all down in the description but or just comments description now you know go to the comments and tell me that because you can't do that in the description but anyways that's about it for me if you guys did enjoy the video go ahead do all the normal youtube stuff like subscribe bell share and especially bell but i'm gonna go and i'll catch you guys in the next video or stream and i gotta go grab my pizza because i'm warming a pizza right now so laters guys Oh, <laughs>